Hello and welcome to Heritage Contractors. This is episode number nine. And we've got a couple of nice harvesting contracts coming. Some good money there. So we'll get those activated. We'll start on those. We'll keep an eye on the rest of the day and see how things are going. So field 10 and field 13. Not Well, none of the fields are huge. So but then again, our equipment is not that that big and that effective. Well, it's effective, but um, efficient, let's put it that way, seeing as we are a, using vintage equipment at best. In any case, let's get the harvester out, get started. And yeah, this whole episode is um, well, actually, this episode and most probably the next episode is um, about the about June, basically. Um, so I know that there will be well, I'm pretty confident that there'll be a, quite a few harvesting contracts which will need to be done, and we'll go through those. There's a couple of new little things about. Um, the straw that I want to go through that's probably going to be in the next episode just looking for all the equipment <laughs> it's in the new season and uh, can't remember where I've parked everything that's it I remember now I put the harvester up here when we finished off last season oh dear 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 uh, it's not like we've got a massive farm you know In any case, let's get the old bison out and running. Once we've got a bit of money this season, we'll uh, look to upgrade our harvester to something, well, not necessarily upgrade graded, but um, change it over. Maybe even if we make enough during this season just to change things up and bring some new exhibits into the museum. But at the moment, we still need to get a bit of cash going. Of course, we will still need to clear our vegetable patch sometime during the the episode as well. Oh, I keep on forgetting I can't get drive out this way because of the canopy. We'll have to reverse out and go around the back. Not a major problem. I think the field that we um, not very easy to see when you reverse kind of have to reverse reverse out and just hope you don't eat hit anything <laughs> it just couldn't it was a it was okay I could see the the uprights so it wasn't too much of a problem so I think the first field we're going to do is just up the road from here Field 10 and field 13 that need to be done. Field 10 is this one, just the other side of the um, of this grass field. Yep, th there we go. We'll get that started off, and then we'll need to go and pick up our trailers. we can deliver I think this needs to go to the grain mill I don't think we've made a delivery to the grain mill yet so that'll be good so I want to put the swathing on so that we can get a get some swaths going and we can collect the the straw 
we'll get that bailed up and we can sell it to make some extra money. Just need to get out and check the machinery. There we go. Let's get it going again. Yeah, the swath looks okay. Quite happy with that. So we'll just do a... Oh, just as I drive past there I can see some vegetables waiting to be delivered. We'll get that sorted out. There we go, you can catch it in the background there. That's nice. Still have to work out an, an efficient way of uh, delivering those. Luckily, the farm shop is just around the corner from there. And of course we can we can load the trailers up. If need be, we can buy a new trailer. So a quick look. Yeah, we've got quite a bit there. But we're going to have to move that um, water tank. It's in the in the way. Not too worried about that just yet. We'll get that sorted out. Right now, we're all about the harvest and doing our contracts. That's what we've got to get sorted out. Right, so we've done the. the headlands and we've got a full load well we've done part of the headland we've gone through once we're on the second headland at the moment we'll, we'll use the I think I think we'll use the Fiat that should be able to pull the load quite easily the farm hold it is able to pull it um, the Massey was a bit underpowered and struggled with the with the trailer when it was full. We'll have to just, the mass is going to have to be used as with specialized stuff like we, we found out that it's pretty good with um, with uh, doing the fertilizing contracts which is good and it's nice and small and maneuverable so we could use it a lot for pallet delivery with the um, with the pallet um, pallet forks on the back of it we'll see we'll see how we can manage that we'll try some other machines and see if we can put a trailer on and deliver to the to the corner shop with a trailer on or not it is very tight all these little things we need to work out and work out our systems, so to speak. Here we go with the turning circle on this. This Fiat being non-existent. Yeah, we're not going to make this either, are we? I was hoping it would get under the branches, but we can't. Should pretty much get a full a full load. I think this takes 3,000 liters, and I think it's just over 3,000 liters for it. Um, the harvester, I think, uh, holds just over 3,000 liters, so we should be able to get this down to the to the grain mill pretty quickly, and then we will be able to, at some stage, get the baler and the baling trailer out and work out our system on that. Yeah, so we didn't quite make two two laps of the headlands which is not too much of a problem. We'll get the second headland done and we'll get it we'll get it onto a worker then and uh, get things sorted out. 
there we go. Let's just get this finished off, the headlands finished off, and we can so say we put a work on and then we can go and do the deliveries. Right, so we've finished off the headlands, we've got a work on. And I am um, doing some jump cuts here because there's a lot of work to be done and we have seen quite a bit of harvesting and we'll dip in and out of it. But I want to go and make this delivery. Just make sure where we're delivering to. I think I think if we go down here, this should take us pretty much straight through to the to the grain mill, which is in that lovely setting next to the river. No, I'm wrong. We're going to have to turn left at the um, the horse farm. Now I think we can go straight uh, across the main, one of the main intersections and uh, the grain mill should just be, it became pretty obvious that we'd have to travel down because it's turn left there, or right it could have been, but um, because of the way the river was flowing, yeah there it is down there, I put the mark on. I was heading in the gen general direction. <laughs> Let's get this delivered. Mm. Oh, wait, here we are on the trailer. Can't find the trigger point with this. It's very strange. It's one of those trailers that I just cannot traverse. We'll just drive around and bring it in again. It's got to be there somewhere. This trailer does sit quite high. Let's get the the interactive zone markers on so we can find out where. Yeah. We were we're a little bit forward, but we should have picked it up as we went through here. Hmm. Definitely not picking up a... That's interesting. Oh dear. I hope it's something wrong with the trailer and not the, the map. Because otherwise we're going to be running into problems with this contract. I think the other contract also needs to be delivered here. So, oh dear. Um, got to think about this now. Uh, dear, 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 dear. Let's try again. We'll just um, make sure. Um, and if we can't offload here, I don't want to put this into another... into another... production or silo. Well, what I can do is if, if it doesn't work, I can put it into the farm silo for now. And then try a couple of things out. Problem, problem, problem. on the front of the wheel and just think about it. What, do, what, what shall we do? What shall we do? True to form. 
just keep trying moving it around, see if I can pick up something. Yeah. Well, we're definitely in the true point. It should, it should be showing up. It could just be that this trailer is too high for you. Because we have delivered with this trailer to the to the, oh, I've forgotten what the call has got the funny name, um, up near the shop there's a, um, another grain silo or a, a wholesaler, I can't remember what it was called, so we definitely have utilised this trailer to deliver product, so I don't think it's a problem with the trailer itself, I think it's probably I'm holding thumbs that it's to do with the height of the trailer, I'm just not picking up the the trigger. The the trigger could be this map and slightly underground and would affect the height that it can recognise the Just going to try and see if it's a little bit further out. No, no, nothing there. Can't pick up anything there either. I've just got to try as many things as possible. It's probably pretty boring for you to be watching this. Or you could be possibly know exactly what I'm doing wrong and having a really good giggle right now. Oh, well, I'm sorry, us farmers don't giggle. We'll call it a complete and hearty belly laugh <laughs> rather than a giggle <laughs> okay let's just try one last thing let's see if we go in from this side if it makes any difference doubt it really doubt it we'll have a quick look and see well you have to try everything I suppose This is the last throw of the dice, so to speak. <laughs> Lovely setting. You could just go out and have a cup of coffee and sit and watch the river for a while, but that's not really going to help us, is it? No, I still can't pick up anything. Oh, well. Yeah. That's not going to help us looking through the trees either. Right. There we go. Losing my cool a bit. Forcing the trailer around a bit. It's not gonna work. Uh, so let's go. And we will put this into our farm silo and then we'll give it a little bit of thought. Uh, now we've probably got a full a harvester full of grain that needs to be emptied as well. So let's go and deal with what we have in here and then deal with that and then we'll think about how we're going to deliver the contracts to the right place. It may be that we just need to get a a different trailer. So I'm thinking this trailer is probably a oh, I wonder wonder if I had this on the yeah I'm sure I did I, I did change to see whether it's we did try both ways, facing both ways, to see whether it would tip side left, tip side right, back. I, I, I did try that during that little, I didn't mention it, but I did try that during that little escapade down there, so that didn't help either. So, yeah, we've got, we got the harvester sitting there waiting to be emptied. In the meantime, the worker, although, of course, we're not paying 
paying them that they are we, we shall call them volunteers because the the town council is paying them oh there's a turning circle of this if we didn't have the grant it would be a a showpiece rather than a workhorse just because it's so difficult to turn just have to keep on making allowances for it. So I'm reasonably confident it will empty out here, but if it doesn't then we know we have a, another problem. There we go, another example of the turning circle, not taking it into account. The tyre bumps into so many things. Yeah, there we go. No problem whatsoever. So we can do that without a problem. So we'll put this and we'll put a couple of loads into here just so that we can get the harvester and the contract moving. Right now it's been static for quite a while. Alright, let's get back up to the harvester and go and pick up another load and bring it back here. We should be just up the road from here. Much easier to go out the front gate given the turning circle of the Fiat. Sound like a broken record with that turning circle of the Fiat. It is what it is. We have to deal with it. Load this and then we will uh, take this through to the to our grain storage on the farm for now we still have to find a way to get it delivered but um, at least we've got it in storage so we've got it available to to complete the contract that's the most important thing completing the contracts if we can't keep, complete the contacts we're going to contract we're going to not just lose the money but we'll lose our reputation as such luckily we're not too far away from the from the actual homestead and in fact the other field is not too far away either it's just across the road to the other side pretty much directly ahead of us through the trees there See if we can get in here without bumping the doors, the door frame. <laughs> Looks like we should make it quite easily. <laughs> Just have to give give yourself a wide berth, so to speak. All right, we'll get this in there, and then we'll head on back up the field, see how it's going. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about this situation. I'm hoping that it's just got to do with the actual height of the trailer we'll go and have a look and see if we can buy a trailer that's a bit lower that fits in with our with our ethos basically so something that is vintage-ish or perhaps homemade or something like that and uh, see if we can make deliveries with that we also need to hopefully have something that's got more or less the same sort of capacity as this trailer. And this is already quite small, but luckily the harvester is not, doesn't have a big capacity, but yeah, so we need to just sort that out. Just changed the tractors to the farm more, just to uh, make us a little bit more maneuverable. had the worker going but unfortunately has filled up the the hopper with um, the 
pipe on the wrong side, so I'd have to drive into the fields to be able to just clear it straight away. It's not a real problem, we'll just drive the combine up ourselves and then reset it and get the worker going again. So I still haven't look, really looked at the different um, traders just yet, so we will do it pretty soon. So we'll put this this load into the into the farm silo as well. Let's just get our worker going again. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully he's got his sunscreen on. That canopy I don't think offers a hang of a lot of protection. Right, let's get this delivered. And then perhaps we can have a look at some other trailer options while that's happening. And that's not quite a full load. So I don't know actually what happened there. Yeah, it's um, not a full load, so I don't think the the harvester was um, was actually full. Might have been, I don't know. At a loss to explain that one, but still, it's on its way. It's relatively empty. So we've got sort of two and a bit loads in here. Let's go and have a look and see. So I'm going to try this load trailer. It does take 3,000 litres, so only slightly less than we've got, but much, much lower. And uh, it's basically a homemade trailer, <laughs> but uh, kind of fits in with the whole ethos of our vintage and and heritage style type operation. So we change the colour. Uh, I don't think we need to change it too much. I like the kind of woody look of it. I like the uh, the tree stump as a uh, as a support at the front of the trailer see that a lot in farms especially these type of operations and there it is yeah much much lower it actually looks like the converted back of a of a lorry so we will still keep the in keeping with our operation we'll still keep this trailer we do know that it works some some places and also, it fits in with our display, so even if it just remains a display, it's a win. Oops, just drove up a bit of a log there, I think. Uh, just crushed the, uh, the sink bath. Right, let's get this loaded up and see if we can get the... See if we can get this. Um, whether this will deliver to the to the grain station. If it does, then pretty much our our problem is solved for now. As I said, the capacity is three thousand, which is only about a hundred liters or so less than the other wooden trailer. So we're not going to be losing much in terms of carting ability. Still um, parked up the wrong way. <laughs> Not a problem. We've sorted that problem out once before. Yeah. So this is this whole little um, harvesting season has been slightly problematic to start with. But I'm not too worried. It's the 
it's the things that you need to deal with when you're using old equipment in more modern times some things the old equipment handles in its stride and some requires a bit of adaptation so to speak more importantly we need to see whether this is going to work if this doesn't work then I'm not quite sure how we're going to solve the problem so whole terms Yeah, so the harvester was empty, so I'm not sure whether it was completely... It doesn't look like it was completely empty either. So I'm not sure what's going on with my worker. It does seem to not be filling up his hopper. Not a serious problem there. Let's get this filled up. There we go, 3,000 meters in the trailer, and we'll head off down to the grain mill and hold thumbs. Let's see if it takes it. In any case, it's a nice little scenic drive down. Quite happy with that. The trailer seems to pull okay. I think it might be a bit wider than the other one, but um, certainly much, much lower to the ground. I do seem to have a lot of uh, people walking around the streets here, out in the countryside for their walks and exercise. Fantastic. I should probably say this every time, but I do enjoy this little map. I find it nice and interesting. Here we go. Hold thumbs. Hold your breath. Cross everything that can be crossed and let's see if this delivers. If it does, of course, we'll have to go and do a couple of shuttle trips up from the, from the farm. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm pretty confident what to do with the height of that trailer. Because this was just straight in. Trigger comes up, delivered. Ah, problem solved. Just need to remember that when we, whenever we're delivering here, we need to use the, the low bed as opposed to the, the other wooden trailer. The other wooden trailer is still good enough to deliver to. Certainly the, the main grain store up near the shop. So we'll get back now, we'll go and shuttle everything from the farm down to the to the grain mill and get that sorted out. his way back was it I think it's a different person yes I'm happy that that's at least sorted out I think we should be just about finished uh, stopped just finished off the harvesting ourselves manually load of the trailer then we'll be able to get the harvester down to the next contract and more importantly we'll be able to shuttle the the, um, the product from the farm to the to the grain mill. Let's get the gate open.
shouldn't take too long, it's actually not that far away from the from the um, from the farm. Pretty sure that this trail will load yeah, so there's no real problem with that. Maybe just a little bit further forward I think. There we go. Let's get it filled up. So we've got 8,000 litres to transfer, so that's two and a bit trips. We just head out here and should be able to take a shortcut through the town to get to the main road. Just making sure that this does deliver. Don't see any reason why it shouldn't, but the way things have been going in this episode, well, in this, with this contract, not so much this episode, this, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's no problem at all. Well, we'll continue getting that all um, sorted out and we'll get the grain delivered. We have started work on the second, harvesting the second field. We'll get that all sorted out as well and um, probably show a little bit of that in the next episode. But this has been going on for a little while so I think that's where we'll end this and we'll catch you in the next one. I do hope you've enjoyed our trials and tribulations during this harvest season so far. If you have, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.